What's up guys, Alex here from Alex20 Productions and I have a tutorial today and it's going to be a little text effect or a text scene effect in Sony Vegas. So if you look at the video and that's what we're going to be learning how to do today. Now as you can see in the video, uh, basically text is incorporated into the scene like it's actually in there. It doesn't really like get the real effect but uh, it's a little neat trick and as you can see there's little shadows onto the image or the street and basically you can only do this with an image. You can't do this with uh, moving footage because basically if you try to do with the moving footage the text will just stay there on the screen and won't correspond or move along with how the footage plays. So here I have my image and I'm just going to insert another video track and on that video track I'm going to insert text and I'm just going to type in a text he's dead there you go make it red for placement I'm just gonna place it right in the corner just like how it was in the video now I'm just gonna go to the crop and I'm just gonna resize it so it fits in the scene and what we're gonna be using today is called the compositing mode and when you click that I'm gonna click that on the text track click it and click 3D source alpha and what that does is doesn't make your text actually give it a three dimensional look it just basically gives it a 3D orientation on its X, Y, and Z axis so if you change the X and Y axis it will give it some sort of 3D rotation so I'm just gonna uh, rotate it corresponding to how I want it in the image and it's going to go to the position just to position it a little bit there you go now if you want to put like a portion of a text behind an object you can do that by uh, masking and Basically what you do is insert another video track, put that video track on top of the text, and get the image and just copy it, and just mask portion of the text, whatever you, you want to be behind a specific object, and I'm just going to use this little hand as an example. that's good so for the shadows all you want to do is enter another video track and copy the text create new copy of source media and change it to black and make it a 3d source alpha and copy all the values on the original text track onto the um, the new text track you made. So negative twenty. And there you go. The text is right there. And what we're gonna do is lower the value of the x orientation so that it's, it looks like the light is projected onto the text and it's making a shadow on the street. So you want to make the X about negative 80 or negative 60 let's do negative 70 and when you're incorporating shadows to your uh, text you really want to pay attention to where the light source in your text and your image is coming from for example in this image the light source is coming from this area and projecting onto the text and that's how the shadow is going to be behind the text 
Now if the light source is coming from here and projecting onto here, uh, basically the, the shadow will, will be in front of the text. So that's how the shadows and lights work. And what we're going to do is lower, make it so that the, the text is a little offset from the original text. There you go. Negative 20, negative 40, negative 80. And for the, if the shadows go in front of the text, it's because on the 3D space, the text, the shadow, the Z axis of the shadow is farther than the Z axis on the text. So what you want to do is Copy it lower, actually, uh, raise the Z axis so that it's behind the text. And when you change the Z axis, it will kind of mess up the rest of your position. So change the Z axis first and then change all the position and orientations. And after that, you are basically done. So that's how you do a text shadow onto a scene of an image. Now, for an example, when I showed you the preview of the video, I had a little camera shake going on. Now, if you want to learn how to do the camera shake, uh, render out this image as a video and uh, go to the link in the description it's a link to another video showing you how to do a camera shake from uh, Techie Tutorials. Now it's a really easy tutorial uh, I'm sure you'll follow along easily so if you like this tutorial give it a like, favorite it, comment on it and I'll see you guys next time